Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today is Friday the 19th at 7.10 p.m. and I have a concert on Tuesday coming up and I have nothing to wear. Nothing to wear. So um, we're gonna make something. <laughs> And a lot to do, so here's the breakdown of what needs to get done. I'm pretty sure I have a shirt that I feel is good for my concert that I'm excited to wear. So I don't think I need to make a top, but if time permits, I will. So we just need to make a skirt, right? I already have some accessories that I wanna do. Um, I also would really like to color my hair because I've been wanting to for a while now. And I think this is a good opportunity to do so. And the other thing is, is I would also like to get my, do my nails because they are looking very sad, very tragic. I haven't done them in like two months. So we got a couple things that we need to do. So let's get into it. <laughs> so the pattern that I'm going to be using today is this lovely pattern. It is by Gertie and her team um, over at Charm Patterns. Please go check them out. I have already taken the time to tape together and cut out all my pattern pieces and made the necessary adjustments on the pattern for length. I found that I'm going to be probably about an inch shorter than I would prefer this skirt to be. So I went ahead and shortened the length of the skirt at the length adjustment line found on the pattern. I am thinking, I'm envisioning the skirt in a really cute like black leatherette, right? And on this version of the skirt we're gonna be doing where it has a slit all the way up to the thigh. It's super cute, super sexy. So I'm envisioning a really nice black leatherette here and I think I have it in my, I think I have this fabric in my stash. I think I have everything I need for it in my stash. Fingers crossed. I hope I do. <laughs> I hope I do. Off to the poorly organized fabric closet we go. So this is the this is the closet of fabric here. I really want to organize this someday, but today is not that day, obviously. These totes are at least organized by color. Everything else is just kind of stuff that I've purchased or dug out recently. So we're just gonna kind of put it off to the side here. <laughs> the one that has all the black fabric is down here. <laughs> one of these days, I will find the perfect solution for storing fabric that is easy to see, easy to get to, doesn't cost you your firstborn child, and also doesn't look like butt. I feel that it is out there, ladies and gentlemen, where I don't know, but it is somewhere out there. This is pink, this is the whites. Black fabric. I am looking for a leatherette type of fabric, which I think is in here. And then I also need something for a lining. And I actually see my lining material right here on top. Polyester lining, it's kind of the nice swooshy stuff. Let's see what else we got in here. And if I don't have the leatherette, which I'm hoping is in here, then I'm gonna have to find some type of alternative. And you know, when you have a vision in your head, Sometimes you just, like, you just can't get it out of your head. You're like, I need it on my body. Uh, okay, promising, promising, promising. I have one yard low stretch black pleather. The pattern calls for a yard and a quarter. I do have this stuff that is kind of has like a weird kind of like texture to it. It's like a, it's like a quilted type of texture, but I mean, that's not a bad second choice here if the bottom of the barrel does not provide. Let's see, we got some really nice fancies. Polka dot down here. I don't even know what this is. And, but no. Ah, I thought I had something better in here, but I don't. So I'm gonna have to, you know, make it work. Do I make it out of this fun 
textured stuff. I mean, it is really fun, but I also have exactly what I envisioned, this wonderful matte pleather, but it is not enough. <laughs> we're gonna go measure some stuff out and we're gonna see what works. <laughs> some bad news, guys. I pulled off this sticker. God, I fucking hate stickers too. I pulled off this sticker from the fabric and <gasps> you see that? It took off the whole finish. Can you believe that? I didn't even put this sticker on here. I fucking hate stickers. They're like, I hate them. I hate them. Don't put stickers on fabric. It's not looking good, friends. So we got that blemish in the fabric is right here. Another thing I'm worried about is with how long I've stored this fabric for, Will I ever be able to get these like creases out of this fabric? And I don't want to put all this time and effort into making something if I'm not going to be able to get that out. Hmm. I might need to pivot on this project. Let's first see if there's enough fabric. I only need one piece here on the fold. I'm going to put a pin right through the blemish here so I know where it's at. Do not think that there is enough fabric. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh man, I don't know. That's like playing with fire here. There is no way that I am going to fit all of this on here. So, all right, we, I need to think of a plan B. So I went and got that other fabric that was kind of eyeing the one with the diamonds on it. I'm gonna see if this is going to fit on here now. I don't know, y'all. It's gonna be real tight. Now we just need to get this last. Oh, oh. it like barely fits. Freaking. Barely. Whew. Wow. Okay. 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 It looks like we're going to be good. I'm going to go ahead and start cutting everything out. I think I'm going to go ahead and cut it out of my liner first. Also switch my mind on my liner. I mean, look at it. It's pink. I think this will be really fun inside um, of the skirt and a little bit of a nice little pop when you see it. With everything cut out, I was able to start prepping my pieces right away on Saturday. And that meant attaching the interface into the necessary pieces, like where the zipper was going to go and the skirt facing, which I also surged. And then I also surged my skirt lining. Here I am pressing my invisible zipper, which is a prepping step for installation. And I knew since I was sewing on pleather that I would need to take my time because I would not be able to tear this out and redo it if I needed to. So that meant it took all day and it turned out good, but now it's on to Sunday. It is now Sunday. I am not going to blab too much because I want to get right into working. I wanted to be honest with a mistake here. I was just going to like not show this on camera, but this is, I want this to be like an honest sewing vlog. I was not paying attention. I admit I was watching, I was watching TV yesterday while I was doing this. I ended up putting the interfacing on both of the princess seams down the center front panel. And then today I was grabbing the piece for the lining for the left side of the zipper. And I ended up interfacing the right side panel of the lining, whatever. So now all the princess seams in the front are gonna be interfaced, which I guess isn't a bad thing. This material is pretty thin and it does fray after some stress and this is going to be a tight skirt. You know, it's gonna get definitely worn. So having some interfacing in there, I think will definitely 
help the long-term wearability of this skirt. But anyways, <laughs> that's my air. I gotta cut out more interfacing now. The funniest thing is I already put away my quilting whirler. Ah, I'm looking for my scissors. This should be called the return to the hot mess sewing channel. High quality YouTube channel right here. Thank you, welcome. Again, thank you for subscribing. Thanks for watching my channel. So I have it cut out. Here we go. Everything's good to go. And I wanna make sure that I don't mess this up this time. I'm gonna go ahead and get over to the pressing board and start pressing this and apply it. I, I think we already know what pressing looks like. So we're just gonna cut straight to whatever the next part is, which is probably sewing something together. All right, let's see. stage. I don't have the back zipper in. It's just clipped in. I feel that it is a little big and so I wanted it to hug my curves a little more. I mean it's a skirt that has you know a gigantic thigh slit. It is a rather sexy skirt so like I feel like if it's going to be sexy then it needs to have some like fit to it right. I'm going to probably bring it in if It is now Monday morning. Tomorrow's the concert. Last night, I apologize that the video just like cut off, but my battery died. I did continue working on some of the stuff, so I'm just gonna kind of go over what I did last night. I ended up taking in both of the side seams by at least an inch, if not more. I didn't do anything in the front princess seams. I also did take it in a little bit on the back princess seams, so that way it really hugs the booty. I didn't do any alterations around um, down the back prints and seams because I know this is not going to stretch when I move it. So I wanted to leave enough space in the lining of uh, the lining itself. So that way I had room for movement. Right now where I am at is that I have pinned the facing to the lining of the skirt and I just need to go ahead and attach it here at the very top waist edge. And then once that's done, then I can just attach the zippers. I need to hem the shell of the skirt and then we'll be done. It doesn't sound like a lot, but there's still quite a bit that needs to be done. So that's where we are. So let's get into it. To sew this, since I'm gonna be top stitching over the pleather here, I uh, don't want to use my normal foot. I'm going to be using a nice Teflon foot, which helps the foot just glide right over that pleather. No sticking, and it makes the top stitching look beautiful. Kitty, that's my spot. No, that's my spot. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, kitten. Hi, sweet angel. Do you know I'm trying to sew? Are your little cat senses tingling? That's not for you to rub your face on. Stop, that's my camera. You're getting your fucking face, you're getting my lens all dirty, bro. Bro, stop. 
Stop. Stop. I, I said stop. Stop. Kitty. You just come on a come and make it about you. But it's not about you. This is not your YouTube channel. I can't with you. I literally can't with you. You're being ridiculous. Stop it. Stop. Stop rubbing your face on it. I hope you all can see her face. Do you see her face? Do you see her face? At least I got it on. You did a very good job, Kitty. Very, very good work. Didn't Kitty do a good job? <laughs> You're absolutely ridiculous. There are a lot of layers here. That's a lot of bulk, so we don't really need all of that. Especially here in the corners. So here, the one that's the facing and the lining, I'm going to trim more of. the lining to the skirt. I want to go ahead and top stitch right here on this lining, this under stitch here, pulling the seam allowance towards the lining itself and catching what I do to help prevent it from rolling out like that. clean edge that would be the front of the garment it looks real nice I'm gonna go over to the ironing board and give it a nice good press I am gonna do some tacking of this lining so it doesn't do any rolling out and I have the zipper left to do got our folds ready to go so that's gonna look real nice I gotta attach the lining to this zipper, but that'll probably be by hand. And then I still have to do a hem here, but we're gonna go press this first and then we're going to go ahead and install the zipper. All right. Oh no, I ran out of bobbin thread. That is the worst. And I've already taken out the pins. Oh. <sighs> All right, take two. Let's do this again. It is 7.51 in the afternoon and evening on Monday. So, and I still want to do something with my hair and my nails. So I'm now getting a little pressed for time. But my skirt is 100% finished. I have my beautiful invisible zipper slit here that has the beautiful fuchsia lining here on the inside, this bright pinky purple color. I love it. I love this big pop of color. I also did some swag tacks here to keep the lining from going too far in either direction or like coming out and like rolling. I was concerned about that. So I made sure to tack everything down. And we have that wonderful lap zipper here in the back with some wonderful lining that was then hand stitched in. So, but overall, I really, I am really happy with how the skirt turned out. 
I love how it looks on my body and I can't wait to show you guys what the final look is. But like I said, I want to go do some nails. I want to go f clean up my nails. I have not done them in like two months and I want to do something with my hair because I also have not done anything with my hair in like two months. So, and I want to look super cute tomorrow. So I'm going to go ahead and do those things. And then tomorrow I will show you what the final look is before I go to the concert. All right. I'll see you tomorrow. Why, hello everyone. I know you were not expecting this, but uh, here we are. I'm looking a little interesting because I don't want to uh, reveal what the actual look is yet because there's a little story here on why I do not have a wonderful montage of the final look showing the skirt that I spent three days building or 20 minutes of this video that you just watched. So, but that is because there was a teeny, teeny, tiny little snafu the day of the concert. Uh, you see, there is two venues that share the exact same name. And one venue was the concert location that I was supposed to go to. And the other one is the venue that I ended up going to. So that was a bummer. But luckily, we made it to the concert. It was an hour drive, a very panicked hour drive, but we made it to the concert and I missed maybe one or two songs of the first band, which is the band that I really, really wanted to see. Um, but the other band was fabulous as well. I love them as well. So like overall, great concert, wonderful time, 10 out of 10 would do again. However, the next morning I realized that I didn't get the footage I needed to finish up this video. So um, I got a little bummed and so I just kind of shelved this video for a while and here I am now circling back five months later, finally finishing this video, getting the footage that I need. And since I was at it, I got some photographs as well. So without further ado, here are the final shots of the skirt look. Enjoy friends. so much for watching everyone make sure to like and subscribe and i will see you in the next one